To connect a Sonos Play Bar to your TV, you're gonna need at least two wire. And those are included into your Play Bar box. The first one is the power cable. And these one connect just right here. The other side, of course, goes to a wall socket or a power bar. The other cable is the optical one. That one will bring the audio from your TV to your soundbar. If this one is not long enough, I left you a link in the description so you can order a bigger one. Very important when you receive it, if you see a small plug at the end of the connector, remove it. One side goes to the optical input of your soundbar and the other one goes to the optical output of your TV. In the last 15 years, I never seen a TV without an optical output, so yours probably have one. If you search for it on your TV, it looks like this. There is a small door that close in front of it and you should see a red light on the back. The light you see is the audio signal. That's why it's called optical cable. Be careful not to bend the wire. You could break it or block the signal to go through because it's all made of tiny mirror inside that allow the light signal to reach your soundbar. And it's not the easiest wire to connect either. When you look at it, there is one side that is flat. Usually that side goes up. But as you can see on my TV, that's not always the case. You have to push it inside until it clips. If you are part of the one percent of people who doesn't have an optical output on their television, well, you probably have a headphone output. So in this case, you will need an analog to optical converter, and I left you a link in the description so you can order one if you need it. Finally, the two other connectors that you see on your sound bars are for the network. If you have a network outlet not too far, use it. Otherwise, it's not a big deal, Sonos works really well wirelessly. As long as you have at least one Sonos device connected with a wire. And I give you all the details about this in this video. And if you want to add a sub or two or surround speakers to your play bar, well, you don't have the choice to have at least one device connected with a wire. It doesn't have to be one of the Sonos speaker that is in your home theater, but at least one in your house. Speaking of connection, if you want to add a sub or surround, uh, there is nothing easier to connect. The only thing you need is the power cord. And if you need help to configure all this, I invite you to take a look at the video on the upper right corner. Finally, about the orientation, you have three options. Like this, like that, or like this. This orientation has been thought for a table installation because as you can see underneath there is two little surface that grip to avoid the speaker to slide and also absorb the vibration and those orientation are more for wall installation but still you can install it in the direction you want. The play bar will adjust itself to the orientation and you shouldn't see any difference in the sound quality. For wall installation, you will need a wall mount kit and you can order it with the link in the description. About the installation video, that will be for another day. Oh yes, and I almost forgot. I heard a lot of people complain about the fact that the play bar only have one input but yet it largely enough. The idea is that you connect all your device to your television. So your Apple TV or Google Chromecast, your PlayStation or even your cable box dish or DVD player if you're one of those who still use it today. And automatically when you select the input of the device you want on your television, the optical output of the television will send the audio to the play bar. So basically, thanks to a single wire, your play bar have as much input as your TV app. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see my other Sonos tutorial, visit my link in the description or just right here. I have a lot of video on the subject. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Maybe you'll give me an idea for the next video. If you're shopping for a new Sonos device, please see my link in the description. And you should also see my video how to choose the right Sonos device for you just right here. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help.
take care and I hope to see you again maybe on my main channel. See ya!